talking of five first year players, one of them is Jacob Van Royen. How have you found his progress on the field in the VFL so far? Yeah, Jacob's a big, uh, tall, uh, you know, full forward if you like. He's uh, sometimes he plays with, um, you know, um, Ben Brown or uh, or Weed or uh, Mitch Brown, uh, Tommy McDonald. So that he, he's been lucky enough to have those next door, and you know they certainly help him go out of their way to uh, assist him. He, he hits the packs really, really hard. He's uh, he's a fantastic trainer. He works really hard. He's a great team sort of person and has always a big smile on his face. So, you know, playing as a tall forward in the uh, VFL is not easy. He's probably, you know, averaged two or three shots a game. Um, we're working on his uh, routine with his goal kicking, make sure it's uh, pretty consistent, uh, but he's come along well. Blake Howes, unfortunately, is sidelined now, but how has he settled in so far? Uh, I thought he was outstanding. He really stood out and, you know, he was emergency when we went, to, I think, to Adelaide. Um, you know, he's a, a rebounding, you know, half-back wing sort of, sort of player, a nice height, and, uh, uh, you know, it's got great prospects going forward. Tyler Rowan came over with a big surname, but um, has he performed as well as you'd hoped so far? Yeah, Taj, uh, he's lucky enough to have Adam Uze here as uh, a very close teammate to Shane and uh, his, his dad. And, you know, uh, I'm thinking Adam almost treats him like a son and really looks after him, which is fantastic for him to have. Uh, we were concerned, you know, when he got knocked out, you know, his parents are over in Western Australia uh, in the last couple of minutes against Richmond. Uh, went down on the bench to see him, his eyes were pretty glazed over, I was just checking up on him, thinking, you know, what it would be like if uh, it was my son, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure that the, the parents felt uh, they had great attention and, you know, with our welfare and our doctors and physios there, it, it was nice to see that everything was in control and a couple of weeks on now he's ready to play again. He's been playing wing, uh, learning the role, working really closely with uh, Ed Langdon especially and uh, I'm thinking he's uh, you know, only getting better and better. He's a really good decision maker and uh, you know we like what he's showing so far. Judd McVie is another who came across from WA. How's he settled so far? Yeah, he's picked up a nickname. Uh, you know, sometimes I'd say stupid uh, Gus Brayshaw comes up with these strange names that uh, calls him Knuckle for some reason. I'm not sure what it is. It's something to do with uh, uh, a previous player that played for uh, North Melbourne and his dad thought it, they looked similar or something. You know, there's always something crazy about their association. Anyway, uh, uh, Judd uh, is playing off the half back line. He's um, uh, showing some great rebound, uh, like his poise in traffic. Uh, he needs to get more of the ball and we're working on how, how he might be able to do that. He's uh, very attentive with his learning and uh, uh, comes in and wants to spend some time to, to find out what else he can do. So all of those things are great traits to, um, to point uh, to the future. Andy Monies Wakefield has had some impressive numbers in the VFL of recent weeks. Have you liked what you've seen? Yes, yes, Andy. Uh, you know, he comes from Darwin, uh, indigenous guy that uh, uh, Tim Maurice as well with his family, so that uh, it's a great uh, combo. He has a wonderful smile. He's a beautiful person to uh, have in our group, but um, probably too respectful. And uh, when he had the ball, he would just be running into open goal and handballing it to someone. Oh, what are you doing, mate? Take the shot, you know. And uh, all of a sudden now, he's starting to get the balance right, knowing when it's his and when it's not his, and. Uh, he's uh, taken some nice marks, he's uh, tackled really well, uh, you know, and he really uh, combines uh, closely with uh, Kay Chandler and, uh, and then in the, in the ones with Toby and, and Cozzy and they're uh, very close and, you know, he has similar traits and uh, what people uh, will expect to see is chase down tackles, uh, some cleverness in, the, in amongst the group and then uh, some nice finish. So uh, uh, we're excited by what he's bringing so far. There are a couple of second year players who we haven't seen at AFL level yet. Bailey Laurie missed some footy last year, but how's he gone to start? Yeah, you're right. He, he was injured uh, uh, too many times last year, unfortunately. Uh, I think his resilience is really built this year. I think his confidence in himself and his body, he's certainly uh, changed shape. He's uh, running a lot better this year. And his poise coming out of uh, the midfield going forward, you know, looks uh, it's really nice. Uh, uh, where he, he seemed a fair way off last year, he's much more uh, closer and, uh, you know, again, was a, um, 
an emergency last weekend. So, you know, it's a nice little tick in his box to think, uh, you know, he's moving in the right direction and his confidence is building and uh, we like the, the way he uses the ball. Fraser Rosman is another one who's been on the list for two years now. How's his development going? Uh, Fraser's probably improved the most out of anyone at the club. Uh, last year he really struggled with consistency you know, within the game, you know, within the quarter. Uh, we've seen much more of him now. Uh, we've seen uh, Mark of the, the Week uh, from him. He's a great overhead. He's a wonderful kick, but he's learned to, when to kick it short, when to kick it long. Uh, I think um, all credit to uh, Mark Corrigan and the, uh, the match committee to play him in the back line. He's given him uh, uh, a new lease on uh, life. He knows uh, his role now, what he's doing, and he, you know, his expectations are, are getting um, more and more each week. You know, we're, uh, we're seeing something in lifting the bar, and uh, you know, he's a willing worker, and uh, I'm sure his, uh, his mum and his girlfriend are really uh, pleased uh, every time they come to watch him to see that progression. Daniel Turner's one we picked up in the mid-season draft last year. He's been injured for a little bit this season, but has he settled quite well? Yeah, unfortunately hurt his leg, but uh, he's a rebounding back when uh, that's got great poise. I think he listens um, to uh, you know Lever and May and those guys that have got great uh, leadership and uh, expertise, and he's learned so much off Chappie as well. So uh, he's been a great find for us, uh, someone that I expect to play. Having come from a country with probably. Uh, limited ideas in regard to you know professionalism he's really picked that up you know and he admitted it himself today in regard to his nutrition and fitness and preparation and he's ticking all those boxes so um, you know he, he should be something in the future.